And what up, guys? <clears throat> so, alright. Episode 10. And I am stuck in my chair by my chain wallet thing. Okay, so, um, where I had stopped before was, uh, I had basically just came up with the, you know, the, the outlying, uh, brick first block of, uh, like, one block high wall. And so, I went ahead and I grabbed some, uh, spruce planks and decided that for my base floor and then I added an extra stack of brick plus a corner a corner brick um, so that I can start putting in glass panes but I didn't want to start doing that until I decided where I wanted my the walls of my rooms to to meet so um, so that in case it gets dark um, so that monsters won't spawn I placed some torches in here on the main floor just to lower the chances of having to fight a creeper and have, you know, explosions happening all over my, you know, new construction. So, and then, okay, so also I added the double doorway, uh, you know, made sure that it was centered, counted correctly and symmetrical and everything. A um, couple of door, inner door torches and outer door torches. Uh, two block wide brick porch and some steps. That's all I've done so far. That's all I've done so far. I, I looked, I looked around, and because I'd mentioned before that I, I might do a tower on one of the uh, corners of my keep, and it just is going to add too much width, I think, um, to do. Well, maybe a full tower. I, I might on the second floor, I might widen a back corner or two a little bit more. For the sake of maybe like a maybe like two separate small attic spaces and make it make them look kind of tower-ish, I could maybe do that. I don't know, um, but I think it would be fun to keep my tower as a separate project for later because I really enjoy making towers. I've made them before, and I've came up with a pretty basic tower design that anybody could do. Um, that is. I, I think is very uh, wisely constructed for convenience and, uh, you know, um, yeah, yeah, I, I'm really happy with what I had came up with before on that. Uh, in fact, I, I uh, stayed up over at my kids' house and uh, uh, with, with Lewis and him and I sort of went over some, uh, you know, some possibilities of, of ways to shape you know, ways to shape the, you know, the tower to, you know, to where it would be like, if you had to have like the basic, like the most basic shape, um, to the tower as you, as you make it, it's like, what would that be? Like if you had to, if you had to provide someone for a, uh, with a, with a, a very basic template on how to add a tower to a village or something like that, what, how would, how would you make it to where it's like the simplest, quickest way to make one that looks you know, and as efficient as a tower. Well, yeah. So I think I think between my son and I, we uh, came up with some came up with some good stuff. Uh, some of it I don't remember because it's been so long since I've since I've actually built a tower. So I wonder how many. Let's see. I'll try and measure here with. It kind of takes takes a lot of work. To, to build. Okay, so if I put, yeah, that, that's that's enough room for. Let's see, this is both the. Oops. I, I love building, and the the whole process is is for 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 you guys at the moment. I mean, you, your creative brains are probably pinging, you know, and and. You know, you can't do anything about it. You know, it's just me doing my own thing and everything. But um, it, just, it certainly is very fun. And so I will go ahead and um, pause it here. And uh, yeah, I will be right back. So one, ex one extra thing that I forgot to point out uh, before I paused you was that I where the where the wall stopped on the ground 
um, if it if the dirt followed down along the wall, I, I I made that brick too. So it looks it looked like the the wall uh, continued down into the ground. You give it give it kind of like a almost like a, a stable structure kind of look to that out to that outside. And if I dig the the dirt away more, I'll, I'll add more. Or if I add like a basement section, I I will continue the the structure un underground, which is which is only appropriate to do that. In fact, I feel like doing that right now, even though there isn't a basement section just because it's like I know that the brick doesn't really continue so you know I want to make it technically a, a you know a, a, a technical structure man installed by a mount too lazy too lazy man so anyway enough of that <laughs> so what I did was I connected divided like right down the middle where uh, I don't know if you remembered me putting my torches there I believe I did uh, before I paused and then so that was the middle and so the rooms are the back corners minus two blocks down the middle for a hall space so it's nice and uh, divided into half um, that might make uh, measuring the upstairs uh, a little bit easier I'm not really sure um, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do stairs up to the second floor yet I might just pick a side like against this window and fill it fill in the windows and then make that a stairway in, instead of instead of a window side um, and then I could have all of the walls you know on the second story be window so like the second second floor is complete view um, wrap around balcony I, I wouldn't mind having one of those too but they're a bit bulky along the outside. They they pop the structure out quite a bit from the from the structure, so it looks a little odd if you don't do it right. But yeah. Okay. So I've probably talked your your ear off by now. Um, but yeah, it's coming along. It's coming along. I I, I wanted to just make sure that um, I at least allowed you to follow a little bit, you know, um, in between the the build process. Um, I do want to either have a uh, a basement maybe a secret basement or like a back like I don't I don't really know but a, a basement section dedicated to the ender portal um, either a basement here or uh, have the top or underground uh, like underneath of my tower to be designated toward the uh, the ender portal or nether portal um, Saving the ender portal. Well, no, the ender portal you gotta find, so you can't make it. So, but like, yeah, the nether portal. I think I might restrict or have that be with my uh, tower where I build my tower. I apparently have decided that my tower will be a separate build. I I hate creepers like this. Punk ass. What's up, dude? Going swimming with you. Oh, don't be nervous. Come on. Oh, I always get nervous when I want to swim with them. All right. So, okay. I will probably work on this a little bit more. Um, as I build my second story, I may I may have the roof or the, the, the ceiling, I mean, of this first floor be open to the ceiling on the second floor and then have the walls of the rooms continue up. Maybe. I really don't know. I really don't know. Th this is why I wanted to brainstorm and figure out what I'm going to do uh, between videos so that I'm not doing with you guys this with you guys because I'm probably boring you to death. So I am going to go ahead and call this video good for now. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I, I love, I, I've, I've never actually built a house quite like this, like actual brick, you know, all stone brick castle style. Um, well, it's it's more square. It's not too much of a castle looking thing right now, but it is going to look nice when I'm done, though. I might incorporate more wood into the, to the shape, but yeah. Alrighty, guys. Well, I will see you next time. Later.